Now, some of you have already seen the news report, PP405, which actually starts using Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the catch for your attention. So what's all the hype? So I've done some research. Yes, it's a research that's being done in UCLA, PP405, and it's supposed, supposed to lead to some reactivation of dormant hair follicles. Now, listen carefully. Dormant hair follicles. So what's the difference between that, finasteride, and minoxidil? With finasteride, what finasteride does, it blocks your DHT that suppresses your hair follicles. Finasteride slows down hair loss. It helps to support your hair follicles. PP405, on the other hand, is a different mechanism. It is there to help to reactivate dormant follicles, not dead follicles. So what does this mean? Is PP405 going to be a replacement for finasteride? The answer, unlikely. As I mentioned, finasteride blocks DHT, helps to prolong the growth cycle. But with this prolonged cycle, it may start to use up too much energy. You have less mitochondria activity. PP405 re-stimulates this mitochondria activity, re-stimulates them to make your dormant or the lazy cells to be active all over again. So it's not going to be a replacement but they will work well hand in hand. Now, the good news is PP405 is on stage 2A human clinical trials, and it's showing some promise. Many studies are done, many products out there are done studies on mice, Well, this is on humans. But the slightly bad news is it's still gonna be a while before it finishes all the trials and get FDA approval. So if you're thinking of waiting for PP405, don't wait yet. You're better off starting some treatment today and preserve whatever hair you have. And when it comes out, you can use that in combination.